Some Republicans spar on whether to challenge electoral college results. Senator Ron Johnson and other Republicans plan to object to certain states' results. But former Speaker Paul Ryan calls that effort anti-democratic. Our Jason Kelvey tells us Congress meets on January 6th to certify those results. The lack of change. Senator Ron Johnson defends his plan to reject electors from certain states. We can't simply dismiss those concerns. We are an unsustainable state of affairs in America. We, we've just come off of four years where the other side never acknowledged the legitimacy of President Trump. It's a change for the senator who told me December 16th. I, I, I don't like futile actions, and that would be a futile action. Former House Speaker Paul Ryan slammed the proposal, writing, it is difficult to conceive of a more anti-democratic and anti-conservative act than a federal intervention to overturn the results of state-certified elections and disenfranchise millions of Americans. And Wisconsin Representative Mike Gallagher joined six other House Republicans saying it's not Congress's job to disqualify electors based on its own findings of fraud. But only the states have authority to appoint electors in accordance with state law. Congress has only a narrow role in the presidential election process. Its job is to count the electors submitted by the states, not to determine which electors the states should have sent. Wisconsin law dictates who wins the state's 10 electoral votes. That's whoever is certified the winner of the state's presidential election. That being Joe Biden, 10 Democrats cast their electoral votes for Joe Biden right here at the state capitol on December 14th. Reporting in Madison, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. Jason, thank you. Senator Johnson and 10 other Republican senators and senators-elect asked Congress to appoint the Electoral Commission to conduct an audit of the election results and then allow those states to look at the findings and possibly change electors.